Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey everyone, checking in on Amazon, Netflix, and Google Daily Weekly time frame on an extremely eventful day in terms of trading ranges and opportunity in both directions. The bulls started extremely strong on Amazon, but we were on our seventh green day in a row. Make that our eighth green day in a row. So with the close of the candlestick yesterday, we knew continuation to the upside was likely. It was a very strong close. We saw the gap up open today with a higher open and a bull move to the upside. I do a whiteboard where I, I post key commentary on stocks that we're watching every morning. And for Amazon, I said that after seven green days in a row, look for a new all-time high, look for a big upper wick of profit taking and a bearish reversal candlestick to form. Didn't know necessarily that it was going to be today, but that is the likely scenario to occur when you see a, such a strong move to the upside. You're not going to see you know, a close, a fairly strong close, and then just all of a sudden the bears show up the next day. You're going to see a complete turnaround on the day when the temporary top is hit. And obviously that was helped today to the downside with the FOMC reaction and the big market dump. But as of right now, this is a very clear bearish reversal candlestick after seven green days to the upside and a red day tomorrow will confirm it. We are going to test the upper Bollinger Band as support. That's going to be around 906, 907. We'll have to update that level at the open. But if we see a red day, a break of the low of 905.62 and a close below the middle or the upper Bollinger Band, we are going to look for normal healthy consolidation. And because we move so quickly to the upside, we didn't establish a ton of support on the way up. So if the market sees continued weakness, Amazon is going to see a fairly decent pullback as well. So after that 905.62 level, I'm looking at 900 psychological and then down to 890. So you can see that there's a nice gap or a nice amount of space to the downside after 900 to 890. So a very clear bearish reversal candlestick, not surprising after such a strong move to the upside and seeing clear profit taking and a bearish reversal candlestick. The weekly time frame, upper Bollinger Band 907.63. That's the level the bulls are going to try and close above to get into breakout mode on the weekly time frame. If we close below it, that will be a clear resistance heading into next week. And in order to see a bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame here, we're pretty much going to have to close 901 or lower to see a bearish reversal inverted hammer with an upper wick of profit taking. So the next two days are going to be very important. Amazon is extremely strong in terms of where we are coming from. But again, the lack of building support on the way up because of how strong this move has been makes the moves to the downside fairly magnified. And we can see that by seeing the $15 drop that we saw from the high to the low today in just about two hours of trading on that bearish reaction. Netflix was already weak heading into today. Weak in the sense that we've been consolidating when so many names are so, seeing so much strength. So we do still have a higher low pattern. The must hold level for Netflix to remain in this uptrend is 140 on the dot. That was the low after the last dump that we saw. And we're heading back down towards that level. We're on the verge of a bearish MACD cross. We've got the 50 day moving average support that held the last two tests on the last dump. And we're going to test that level tomorrow just at 143. Close below the 50 day and 140 comes next. And again, because we've already seen some moves to the downside for three days, three red days in a row, I would expect that Netflix would see a bounce before either before other names or if we're all going to see it occur at the same time due to the correlation to the S&P 500, I would expect Netflix bounce to be a bit more magnified again because we're already seeing this downside momentum. So the correlation to the market and all these high beta popular names magnify significantly when volatility and volume pick up. And we saw that today with so many candlesticks on the daily time frame looking the same. Netflix is one that is not. The bears were in control the most of the day where most 
candlesticks look like this with a big upper wick of profit taking and a close now down near the low of the day. So the Netflix bears are in control, but I will be looking at Netflix for a bounce if the S&P 500 bulls show up here before the end of the week. Netflix will be one of the first names that I look at compared to names like Amazon, which just saw their first bearish day today. Netflix weekly time frame, you can see that back and forth, the consolidation we've been seeing. We have been holding the exponential moving average supports since all the way back in October and September, really. So closing below the eight period exponential of 142.60, and that price is going to adjust. I'm estimating it'll be 142.60 by the time we get there. If we close this week before, below that level, it will stand out as the first time we have lost that level in a very long time, six months. So we have a bearish MACD cross trying to hold these exponential supports. Bulls are still in control, but if we break 140 on the daily, we lose the higher low pattern. And if we lose exponential support on the weekly, the bears start to take over in the short term. Google, there's that kind of candlestick with a very strong bull move and a complete erase of that move with a close down near the low of the day. We have a very clear support level to be watching on Google. It's a triple bottom the last three days, 847, 50, 53, and 52 three days all within three pennies of each other and if we see a break of 847.50 the low of this little bull flag consolidation was 845.24 lose 845.24 and there is not a lot of support built on the way up it was just three big days to the upside so after 845.24 could see some more significant drop off in google bears have all the momentum heading into tomorrow and we'll see if those supports can hold weekly time frame is not seeing follow through from the last bullish week last week we closed just below exponential resistance last week and here we are right on it again if we close below those levels it will be a back test and rejection for two weeks in a row from those exponential resistances and we'll be looking back down at that weekly middle bollinger band which next week will be right at about 8 30. So as of right now, the bears have momentum in the market. I'm watching all kinds of correlations. We got the dollar, oil, and the market all directly correlated. They saw a nice strong week last week. They saw their tops hit today, and they're seeing a pullback. And I'm also watching the correlation to gold, which is inverse. That's for another video here, but all these high beta names, bears are in favor, keeping an eye out for weakness on the weekly time frame to indicate more longer term pullback. And we'll see how much downside the Amazon bears can pull up tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.